Now, welcome to Crossout, a game in which post-apocalyptic uh, monster vehicles like this one called the Takavan are made, built, and then they are used to race around diff different kind of wastelands and shoot uh, shoot up other, other, other either other players or computer-controlled games. And it's in a sense quite actually it's quite fun in the sense that uh, there's just so much different you can build insane amounts of different ve vehicles as in you you can build anything from hover tanks to all, all kinds of sand buggies but it does have uh, the annoying part of being extremely grindy game as in well it's basically because it's basic it's a you could say free free to free free to play game which means that it's in they have to make some sort of business so they made it extremely grindy and as such inconvenient game to play in short games because well you need lots of resources to build all these real fancy multiple tier items items that you get through getting f getting through the uh, you can say leveling up in fa different factions with and which unlock more factions and all that kind of thing so this game is extremely grindy despite having you could say solid very solid uh, ga ga uh, construction mode and of course well let's, let's just show how this thing go drives yeah it's a eight wheel post-apocalyptic vehicle armed with machine guns and shot and uh, shotgun turrets and it's got all kind of tur turrets as well and yeah you can test drive all your monstrous create all creations and all that kind of thing gameplay wise nothing really you could say and of course there's very little bit of a And there's very little of, you could say, story as well. Yeah, there was one, there was a car, car, so I just blew it up. So, but let's just show show this one little, you could say, the reg regular, regular reg, reg, one little mission to show that how, how the game usually works because the ga gameplay gameplay is uh, simple it, it's its presentation is very vague with some sort of bizarre strange non relevant post apocalyptic desert area land, landscape nothing really straight nothing really unusual in that but you could say that the Usually it's not that really interesting. I would say gameplay is uh, there's lots of grindy, grindy things and all that. Uh, but I wonder should I go to do a raid instead of battle against AI vehicles? Checking out. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, the basic gameplay is just a matter of you, you do raids or you do battles. So let's just do, but I'm trying to get to the battle. Alright, now I'm playing for the basic gameplay mode of... Or the, uh, the more common gameplay mode of... Well, capture the base. Sure, run, run around others and most of the players in my team are actually... Uh, Bot, computer bots and they are not completely useless either and the enemies are of course also computer bots so oh this is a quick and fast and brutal, brutal game mode so running around Using lots of lot lot lots of lots of data. And in this game mode, you either destroy all the other team 
or catch the, yep, catch their base. And I'm going to recapture the base. And to make it sure it happens, I am hiding behind this little bill obstacle. Now somebody to stop me. Well, they are not stopping anything. Because I'm gonna blow them up. Yep, this is fast game mode. Does my team win by blowing up the other team or act by blowing up the other team? Well, this concludes the crosstalk. You get points after mission score. Now, regarding the vehicle building part, there's two kinds of vehicles you actually build. There's the basic armored vehicle, which, well, judging by the level of uh, what you get, you get a various num amount of hard points that the number of parts that you can use then th that defines how, how how limited you can be and uh, then there's the leviathan which makes you so that you can actually build way put way more bits to it but these are much less you could say used much less but this is quite outrageous vehicle with 10 wheels they look quite small in this one and uh, lots of armor and plenty of guns as well and let's just look at the ex and that this one is called the terrorizer because well that's what it's meant to be it's, it, it's at the, well it's meant for terrorizing so that's why it's named so let's just look at the exhibition mode and see what kind of great what kind of vehicles have people built oh cement trucks airplane I don't know what what is this, some kind of weird thing. Realistic looking cars, some sort of spider tank walking about and that's and the Leviathans as well. What kind of monstrosities do they show do these show up? Yeah, these are the really big burly tank machine scary monstrosities. Oh, there's a walking robot. Car, all kinds of. Oh, that looks like a real tank. Not necessarily the most you could say creatively named ones, but they do look quite impressive. I wonder, has has anyone made Metal Gear? Because that is quite an icon iconic thing. Uh, no. Didn't find one. Oh, and there's even a space shuttle. Yeah, the game, once you have ground uh, played it long enough, allows a real impressive amount of creativity with all, with all these crazy machineries and all that. But, it's it's grindy that's that's the we could say the worst gripe in this game is the fact that it's very grindy fun uh, quite plain in the store in the, you could say narrative sense because well there's practically no story story even though there's a single player adventure mode which is very bare bones because it doesn't actually provide much interesting so so that's it. Well, that's a bit of a problem. The game was designed to art building these cars and racing and wrecking stuff with them. And whatever little story there is was an extreme afterthought. But game's quite fun. Uh, very grindy, but fun and s small small doses. It's fun for a very long time because there it remains a sense of progression. See you later.